Eevee. Start Stafi. Protocol. Intruder. Simulation mode. Sir, this is a prototype program. Do you wish to continue? Yes, please. Affirmative. Now routing 911 call out to proxy server. Safi is now activated. So, in the event that an intruder enters your house, I was downloading this earlier, they're gonna come into your room and they're gonna be like, get on the ground. Okay, so for example, you're gonna get on the ground and you're gonna assume this position. Dictation level three. Hand gesture, recognized. Silent alarm triggered. Now dialing 911. Scanning facial expressions. Scan complete. Targets 1. Identification Ken. Facial expressions Happy. No distress detected. Holding phase 1 actions until further notice. So yeah, so she can use facial detection to figure out if you're stressed or not. Uh, end simulation, Evie. If they implemented this into like convenience stores that were being robbed, banks that were being robbed so that people don't have to push a physical button, they can just have an AI system detect when things are going wrong and then, and then just react on that. So that people don't get shot, people don't have to do something stupid, you can just comply. Keep your keep yourself alive, and Evie takes care of all the help and the the calling and everything on the outside. She also has target recognition too. So in this room right now, obviously with one simulation like this, she only sees that it's me. So she has only one target. So when she scans my face, she knows it's me. But on the flip side, let's just say someone enters my house. She can also scan their face, run their face through like LinkedIn, through Facebook, through social media, and help find out who they are. So already when you when an intruder enters your house, right? They know how many people are in the house. They know that you're in danger. Right? They know the location of your house. So like in this case I'm in the basement, so they know like oh there are let's just say it's a hostage situation. She knows that there are hostages in the basement. Like that sort of information for first responders. Boom. Like that's amazing. What if someone is doing it for pleasure? I guess she would do the same, wouldn't she? <laughs> I didn't think about this. I did not I did not think about this this conundrum in my head. Cause what if what if what if this happened? What if the intruders are like <laughs> can I <laughs> what if the intruders get into my house and they're like, sir, sir, I need you to get down on your hands and your feet and 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 do like a, a bridge position. Like what what if I do this? What if I do this? <laughs> what if they ask me to do something like, Sir, I need you to get down your legs and your back and do this. Like, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> How does she know? <laughs> what does she do? <laughs> what do you do? You know what I mean? You see, you see, you see the conundrum? They're like, <laughs> they come to the house and like, get down on your hands and knees and put your ass in the air. Um, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that, or else you'll activate my AI system and call the cops. Like, I can't even explain it to them why I can't do it. <laughs> I can't even do that. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, burglar. I, I, I we can't do that. That's a good no, no. your hands and knees and put your ass in the air.